What is up, everybody? Digging Up Cool here. Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last time, we made our way to this area through the Shadow Palace thing, and now we're gonna do a bit more exploring, and in this episode, we will finish the game. Oh boy, what are you? That's actually a really cool design, and I think it may have served for the inspiration of Super Paper Mario's designs, even though, truth be told, Super Paper Mario is a great game, but it's not my favorite. But I'm not here to complain about that. I'm here to sing a million praises about this game during the credits. And they're dead. It does 15 damage if you get it all the way to excellent with their defense. I highly doubt it works on bosses, but if it does, wee! How many of these hallways are there? I've gone through three. This will be the fourth. Another level up! I've leveled up a ton in this chapter. This will be the fourth total. There's a whole ton of enemies that give a lot of XP, so... You know what, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna upgrade badge points. I assume, yeah. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh no, it's our first boss because there's a ton of them in this chapter. Here lies Dragon Mc, here's its name. Oh wait, did I say here lies? I haven't killed it yet. I wonder if attack, the attack FX badge actually works. I wish it would, but I highly doubt it does. All right, I'm going to open with a supernova and hope it works because it's 15 damage on one hit. Who would give that actually, you know what? I'll use power lift. Power lift should keep me a little bit safe while I fight this. Okay, defense, it's got like none. That's good to know. Although attack, it has a ton and that's actually scaring me a lot. I'm incredibly glad I upgraded Mario's health. I'm mostly just using bomb and uh, spin jump. Is it spin jump? Yes, it is spin jump. Oh, please don't eat the audience. Oh. You know what, audience eating may have been okay after that. I've mostly been using spin jump and bomb just cause it's a high damage combo. Although, now that I don't have power lift anymore, this is looking a little bit terrifying. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Do I use power, no. Power lift is not gonna help me right now. Sweet Feast, I need all my health back. Okay, I got most of my health back. I am so glad I healed myself. Good, I took it down right before it was gonna use its amazing super mic, I'll kill you breath. And it did a backflip off stage again. Just like its friend Hooktail, Gloomtail's gone. Ooh, that was a difficult boss. What are you spitting out? Oh, it's a treasure chest. I wonder what's in it. Star key. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the star-shaped key goes. I don't think I have to go all the way back for it, do I? Goombella, you wanna help me? The stone chain chomps can be blown up by Bobbery. I wish I had known that. That would have been really helpful. Now I'm pretty sure there's two of them. So blow up them both and see what happens. Have fun, bye, I'm helpful. When you hit both the switches as me, Mario, I'm not Mario, it'll bring down two boat ports which will let you get through this palace place. And now that we have the star key, it's actually better that we got the star key first, I think, because it's gonna open a door somewhere and backtracking is not something you're gonna wanna do. Beyond this door, oh no. Is this gonna be another confusing puzzle room? It may very well be. Fantastic job, me, walking straight into, are you kidding me? I was on the other piece of land. All right, here we go on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat. I'm gonna say this until it has no meaning anymore. No, I'm not, I'm done with that. Hey, I knew this was coming up. Marilyn, Beldum, and Professor Frankly? No, it's Dupless. We're gonna, we're gonna fight them. Yay. So it's another good old fight with these three. Friends, they all just want Mario gone out of the way, out of the picture. Give us your stars. Except Marilyn and Beldum's health has gone up a lot. This should be an interesting fight since all three of them have pretty good moves. I'm sure they're powered. Yep, they're definitely powered up. Oh, they're powered up a lot. That's for sure. Here goes Dupless with the whole cloning thing again. Goody. Oh, he's cloning Bobbery this time. Very nice. The great thing about battling Dupless when he clones you or your partners is that you know your attack pattern, so you know exactly when their action command time is, which means you know exactly when you can fight them back. 
I'm gonna use power lift because I'm terrified right now. Man, I got our attack up high. Let's just hope you don't use anything that'll make Bobbery die. Hey, Bobbery, why don't you show him what an extra four attack can do? 12 damage, I hope you enjoy. I wonder how much power smash he'll do with plus four attack. Say goodbye to your health. <laughs> and you got hit with the stage prop. You can keep powering yourself up. This is, this is not good. Let's just, bye. Bye bye, Marilyn. That was very close. The attack power on Marilyn right there, that was huge. Bye, Bobbery. You'll be missed. I got one of them right. That's good. Mario's dodging stuff now. Haha, -ha, you missed. Mario is alive. One health. Oh, that's the worst. Well, on the bright side, Mario will jump on the pointy hat and then go, you're dead. Congratulations. I am winner. 50 XP. Woohoo! That's incredible. Also, I leveled up. Guess what I'm leveling up? I have no idea. I have actually no idea. I upgraded badge points since I like badge points. Bobbery looks sad because he's dead. That sentence made a whole lot of sense. See, there's a lot of save blocks scattered around this area of the game, and it's actually important because I've never brought attention to this in the series. In the first few episodes, I died a lot, and I had to do a lot of backtracking because of it, because the last place you get sent to after you get a game over is the last place you saved. So in here, Saving is probably a very good idea. Hey, that thundery thing that I know so much about. Hey, Flurry, it's time for you to get purpose. Well, actually, you're a pretty good fighter, so you have purpose as is. I'm really liking that this dungeon is actually making you use all your partners rather than just sticking to whichever one you got that chapter. I mean, in battles, I'll still use the same couple of people, but otherwise, very nicely done. Seems to be a puzzle like the one we had in Hookdale Castle earlier where we have to move blocks. This is actually pretty cool. I think I got it right. I'm hoping I got it right. I did not get it 100% right. Yes, I solved it. I'm so good. I am the best. Oh, this does not look... Oh, well, depth perception hates me. There we go. I did it. I'm trying to pretend to be a Mario. Wahoo! <laughs> I can't do a Mario voice. Charles Martinet is the only one who can do a really good job of that. I gotta say, for this area of the game, it's very well designed, like, thematically. Uh, not just for the area itself, but also for the background. I really, really like the design, and that's something that applies to this whole game. It's a simplistic art style, yet it's absolutely gorgeous. I do love that paper theme. I'm not even touching the controller right now. It's just doing this. I'm gonna have to deal with this. Goody! Here we go. It's a me, Mario, with a controller that is locked slightly to the right. This is great, especially mid-recording, which probably makes no sense. I'm actually recording on an entirely different day. I gave up. I straight up gave up on one of the puzzles. And now that my controller isn't working, I've had to switch to the crappy third-party controller that is missing the rubber pad, so my hand gets cut almost, but at least I can hit left now. So as it turns out, the solution to this room has been in my face the entire time. I just didn't see it. Also, probably gonna wanna memorize this, you know? You're actually just supposed to jump down here and grab the palace key. If I had known that a few days ago, I would have been done this series by now. But I'm not! I mean, technically for you, I, I'm not gonna get into that again. Bye-bye, Ruin Powder. I'll miss you, but not enough to keep you. I was about to say Koops may have a chance to shine in battles, but he didn't even get to participate. I'm sorry, Koops. You deserve a little more than just sitting there. Although most of my partners do, but they don't get it. So these switches here is part of an earlier room. I just did the full combination perfectly. If you get it right, it does something. Digging up coal, providing the most useful advice for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door since 2015. Oh wait, is that true? No, since 2016. True story as we spin on this cog, I'm pretty sure there's a secret up here. Yep, all right, I guess I get no life shroom. Amazing bounce. Here's a weird true story. This series started in 2015. The recording of this series actually started in September 2015. I am either the biggest procrastinator on earth or I put genuine production value into what I know. Oh goody, it's type platforming. Please tell me that my partners don't get damaged by that. I certainly hope they don't. Although that was a nice room, I like that. Can I have more? It's plane time! I'm just gonna drop down here in hopes that that's where I needed to go. I don't think so. 
Oh, nope, not fighting you. Bye. Oh, you just have to use Yoshi. Okay. That's, uh, I have mixed feelings. Okay, I flew through a room. Can you feel the enthusiasm flowing through my veins? Oh my gosh. It's nice to look at. Please tell me there's a save point and or heal point near here. You gave me both. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'm gonna switch to Bobbery so I can actually have a partner do something to the boss. I mean, I don't know what's coming ahead. I wonder who we're gonna be fighting here. Ta-da! Story, story, story. I'm unveiling my plot because I'm a villain and I'm allowed to monologue. That's how we do this. Never understood that. Like, while someone's monologuing, it's the best time to defeat them. Especially if you have, like, sleeping powder. Or just a really good book and a glass of warm, is that what, warm milk in a good book, is that what puts people to sleep? I don't know. Okay, so we have Sir Grotus of the X-Nauts now. We don't have him, it's not Pokemon, we didn't catch him. We're fighting Sir Grotus of the Xbox. Of the Xbox now, sure. Of course, as per usual, we're starting out with Yucks. My favorite. I'll open with an Earth Tremor just to get rid of all of them immediately. That way, Bobbery can do some damage because they act as a shield otherwise. I've got the FP for it, but I don't know if there's another boss directly after, so I'm gonna save my FP. Sounds like a good idea. Unless there isn't anything ahead, in which case it sounds like a very bad idea. What are you gonna do now? Summon the lightning? Oh, you're gonna... You're gonna... Oh, I managed to dodge it! Very nice! And I didn't know the mini yucks or whatever they are could actually damage me. I do now, and I'm not happy about it. I didn't want to do this, but I'm using bob on bast Okay, who am I kidding? I always want to do that. Okay, good job with all the rocks, guys. Don't you think that's a bit, oh, I don't know, extremely excessive? Bobbery is so dead. Yep, Bobbery is dead. Or not. Thanks, Life Shroom. The only problem with this boss is if you can't take out the yucks, then you're gonna struggle a lot. If you can't take out the mini yucks, I mean. Stop it with the rocks! Sweet Treat is the only shot I have at survival, and it's a long one. Ow, oh, my hand. Good, I died. He's at two health, I'm at three health. If this does not go well, I will be very sad. <laughs> but of course it goes well, and if there's not another boss coming up, I will be a very happy lad. 30 XP, healing, getting the star power back, I hope, and getting a level up to whatever I want. Now, right now, I'd assume health, but that's the mistake I made last time, so big no-no. I'll be upgrading badge points, <laughs> because that's not at all expected, right? Oh, goody, they have Princess Peach kidnapped. Ay, ay, ay. I have a choice to attack again or don't attack, but it looks like you're doomed. Thanks, Boozer. Please don't fight me. Here's Bowser again, returning from other chapters. Like the Glitz Pit, that's the only one I can remember. Oh, we also have to fight his goon? Bowser's got an incredibly high amount of HP, which is terrifying me. I don't know if you have to take out Bowser's minion. I assume you do, but I could be very, very wrong about that, and I'll count Bowser's minion as a boss of its own because look at its health. I'm gonna use Super Hammer, hope it does a good amount of damage. Yeah, that's not bad, it did a bit to both. Yes, the one I needed so badly is the one I got. Please be doing something that's beneficial to me. Why? I'm gonna use power lift since the fog just keeps coming back. So I don't assume I'm gonna be able to do much. That wasn't bad, it wasn't bad, three and three. That's very nice. Let's hope this does enough damage to be sufficient for a while. Yeah, I've massively lowered your health. If it isn't, then I'm gonna be pretty upset. Stop healing Bowser! I kind of wanna test my theory. I don't think this is even remotely worth it or a good idea at all, but I kind of want to test my theory on Supernova on bosses. I highly doubt it works. Let's watch it fail in my face. I'll fall flat, break my glasses while I'm at it. Okay, let's hope that works. Yes, it does, okay. And Bowser is gone. I am great. So is the amount of XP I got. Thank you very much, game. I doubt I'll be able to do enough to win this turn. Oh, never mind, I did. That was the most convenient turn of events ever. Look, the puns don't stop, they just come to me. In the time we were fighting Bowser, Peach left. Or, oh yeah, Peach is gone. Truth be told, I think about to this point is the farthest I've ever gotten. So, now I should probably equip some badges and 
make my decision. All right, I equipped double dip like I said I would two episodes ago. <sighs> Let's hope this works. I also equipped a badge that lets me use two items per turn. Oh yeah, I think we're definitely getting to the end of the game now. Oh, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. This is a really long staircase. Here we go. So, at this part of the game, this is when we actually meet the demon of the thousand year door. Who possesses Peach? Oh good, there's forever darkness over the land. Goody. So in this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're gonna be making our way back through Rogueboard again. We're not doing that. So the point is, darkness covers all of the land. All of it. See, the interesting thing about the Shadow Queen, or whatever their name is, sorry, is that they have their own text box. That's very nice. That's such a small detail, but that's very nice, and they possess Peach. Goody! Now we get to see a paper version. Oh, no, not quite. Frankly went in here with us? Frankly, why? Okay, so the interesting thing about this part of the game is you actually have a choice. You can become a servant, which gives an alternate game over screen. I'm not gonna do that. Welcome to the final boss of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Shadow Queen or not that name. Incredibly high stats, final boss fight, so it's gonna be incredibly difficult. 150 health. As you can imagine, I'm terrified right now. I'm gonna use double dip to use two items in one turn. Power punch and repel cape. At the beginning of the battle, this may be a very good idea. I'll start with the basic bomb. Okay, now that Mario's all bulked up, Mario should be able to do a whole lot more damage. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a whole lot more damage. Oh good, your attack and defense has been boosted. That's just what I wanted. We've already gotten the Shadow Queen under 100 health. That is not bad. I very highly doubt this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try and use stopwatch. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't work. That was a waste of an attack. Stop trying to throw rocks. Now it's just gonna be an endurance battle, which is not good. The, the good abilities may be coming into play now. I am not looking forward to that. Time for bob on bast Why? Did you seriously just clear away the entire audience? You! What is happening? I got kicked out of the battle, mid-battle! Oh, I guess the crystal stars are being used to lock you away. That's convenient. Although I'm gonna judge by the way things have turned out, that's not gonna work. I don't understand what is happening right now. I'm hoping good things. These are dire circumstances for many heroes on our journey now. We will be discovering whether or not they can survive this ordeal against the Shadow Queen and what will happen as a result of the Crystal Stars coming to their location. As the many crowds and friends that Mario had made along his journey cheer him to victory, we will discover that the true power is friendship and corny improv dialogue with the terrible British accent, which sounds borderline Australian. Good day, mate. <laughs> no. Also, I know this theme isn't much and it's basically just a remix of the main theme, but I really like it. Like of all of all inspirational, you can do it, you can beat this ordeal music, musical arrangements. This has to be one of my favorite and one of my favorites in video games. Considering those particular arrangements, like the yeah, you can do it ones are my favorites. That's kind of saying a lot. You can hear the cheers from all the way down here. I saw a go Goombella in there. Ha, Goombella had about as much involvement in this series as I do in making completely original content. Did we just get a full heal? I love you. Now we can do this. Let's see how this goes down. Form two of this bloody boss. I'm kidding, I love it. I'm gonna open with Supernova because of course I am. I hope, beyond hope, this works and or is more effective. Okay, awesome. Now, use regular bomb, saving bob on bast for when it's absolutely necessary, AKA when the hands come back. That seems like a good plan. Thank you for the fire flower. We got this, Bobbery, together. Oh my god, I got the full bingo! <laughs> That's incredible! I got full bingo on this boss. Oh no. I'm gonna use power lift. It's not as powerful as supernova, but in the long run, it's it's gonna do more damage, I think. Okay, Bobbery, do your thing. Do your high damage thing. Woo! 
Moderately high damage. Not great. Although I think the full bingo may have also been kind of a bad thing. Holy crap! I think the full audience thing may have been bad if if the Shadow Queen can actually absorb all the audience again. I think preventatively, I'm going to try and use Sweet Feast. Okay, that's really good, actually. That brought back a whole lot of health that I kind of needed. What did you do? Oh, no. Bobbery can damage me now. I think that's the first time we've ever seen Confusion use in this game, too. Just use the Fire Flower. Thank you. I just don't trust Bobbery on my own anymore. Not this turn, at least. Getting to pretty low health now. Although I, I think I may be dead. Oh crap. I'm using an Ultra Shroom and a Jam and Jelly on the same turn using Double Dip, which is a badge that allows you to use two items in one turn for exchange of a little bit of FP. I don't trust this one. I don't know why, but I don't trust it. Now that brought everything back up, Bobbery has a chance to actually live to the end of this battle. A very small one, mind you, but at least I won't die at the end of this battle. Is there anything I can do that'll do 10 damage now? The quick answer is no. I won! I did it! That's it, right? You're kidding, right? I got one XP from that. Oh, maybe I did do it. That's absolutely incredible. Is this how the game ends? I've never seen the ending before, so I may actually not skip text. Hey, Princess Peach is okay. Treasure? Is that the legendary treasure? I'd laugh so hard if it was a dried shroom. Oh, wow, that lighting is awesome. Why is Mario leaving? Goodbye, all my partners. Goodbye, Rogueport. Ah, the sun's getting nice and green and the water is made of orange juice i love orange juice water ha huh? it's green mario and green luigi together oh that's awesome did i get an email am i able to play in here oh so we genuinely don't know what the treasure is koops wants to become mayor of petalburg what what battle where when why oh is dupless pretending to be mario yep dupless is being mario Oh, that's so good. Awesome, Zale's still in the fight. Hey, Cortez and Bobbery. I guess they're out to sea together again. Cool. Oh no, Grotus and the x not sir. They're still alive. I mean, if they're gonna be evil, that's not good. If they're not gonna be evil, whatever. Oh, Tech is still alive. Everything's turned out okay. Luigi and Luigi are here luigi -ing together in Luigi Land. Hey, Toadsworth, what's up? Toadsworth found a treasure map, and it's gonna lead to real treasure this time, huh? Are we going back? Think we may be going back. Or not, we're just at the credits now. Well, this certainly has been, yeah. <laughs> great, great train of thought there. This is gonna be incredibly hard for me to describe because this game is my f it's hard to say a game is your favorite game of all time because it means that you're giving absolutely no chance to a game in the future to be better than it. And I think even though I said that a few times throughout the series, I do and I don't want to take it back. I, more than anything, I want to rephrase what I said. This is my favorite game that's been made up to this point in time. And... I know that typically goes without saying, but I want to bring that up anyway, because before I go rambling on about how much I love this game and how this has been a wonderful experience, let's playing this, I, I do want to bring that up because I don't want to be closing the gates and saying nothing can top this, because for as much as I wish that was true, because this game is like pretty much perfect for 99% of the experience, there are other games, uh, uh, there's a lot of games I haven't played, but anyway. I actually want to get on to talking about this LP now. So, originally this Let's Play was conceptualized, and I'm not even lying about this, about a year ago. T to when I'm recording this, about a year ago. By the time this comes out, maybe a year and a half. So, right now, it's February 1st, 2016, as I record this, and this will be coming out far, far from now. But about a year ago, uh, maybe 11 months to be perfectly honest. I started recording this game for the first time and I actually had two Scrapped versions of this series one of which was because I wasn't happy with the end product The other of which was because of a hard drive failure that happened in September of 2015 and if that had happened with any other series Because no episodes were out no episodes were uploaded at that point point. If that had happened with any other series, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have continued because I don't love any game as much as I love this. And I, I think that's, that's kind of an incredible thing to find a game that's so perfect to me and 
hopefully through this let's play I've gotten some other people to actually check out this game in further detail because I intentionally left a lot of the story and dialogue and certain features out because I think that's something that you actually need to experience in the game and Hopefully I've actually shown this game in an interesting enough light that makes people, makes all of you want to go out and look at the game, buy the game, play the game. Cause this game, th this game definitely deserves so much, an unbelievable amount of praise. For the years and years and years that I've been playing it, it's just an absolute joy. The art style is absolutely fantastic. It's charming. The dialogue is incredible. Incredibly well done. It's it can be absolutely hilarious at times. The level design is exquisite The only weakness I've ever seen with this game is occasional puzzle design But I think that's more on my end than anything a personal preference the battle system and This is really weird coming from me because I don't like a lot of turn-based RPGs like turn-based RPGs They're not my least favorite genre of games, but they're definitely not my favorite which makes it kind of strange that this is my favorite game but I think this game just doesn't such an exquisite job with it and it's just been a wonderful game and it's been an incredible absolutely incredible adventure to be playing this for as long as I have and recording this for almost a year now but now that it's over, I, I would like to thank each and every one of you that has watched the series. It really does mean a lot to me. Your feedback's always really real appreciated. I was unbelievably happy to make this series, and hopefully that came out. Hopefully it's gotten all of you excited or interested about this game. Because that's what I, that's what I wanted to do. Not advertise the game, but I, I wanted to bring attention to my favorite game thus far. And I, I just, this has been such a fun experience. And if I do bonus content, that'll be a fun thing to do. But if I don't, this'll be, this'll be a good way to end the series. So hopefully you've all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.